Hi, in this little tutorial I want to show you the possibilities uh, of the analyzer in the PPG Wave Mapper 2. I'm using uh, this program Multi Analyzers from the Tutorials Bank. I set the oscillator to a solo. So I can hear one oscillator at a time. And now I want to record, uh, I want to analyze the sound and put it in oscillator 2. So I have selected oscillator 2 and I go to the analyzer page. Um, I select my user directory which I want to use, which is analyzes. And now I can open the sound browser and I want to first start with this uh, bold bass sample. Okay, now you see the waveform here. And um, I can directly play the sound, which is now in oscillator 2. And you hear that the, that the quality of the sound is uh, quite uh, well reproduced. Um, you see here the TCS mode. Now I'm in, in the TCS in the time corrected sample mode. Um, if I go to the to the real sample mode, then it plays the sample as it is, as it was, without any time correction. I go back to the TCS and now I can control the sound by the envelope. You see now it plays reverse. So you have all the nice possibilities of controlling the the, um, uh, the excess of the sound, uh, which you also have in wavetables. Okay, now you see I want to set up a nice loop, and in this case you still hear a little pitch change when, when the loop starts. Um, that is because the analyzer didn't pick up the, the uh, precise pitch because this uh, bold bass sound is, is, has a little pitch movement. And okay, so you can fine tune uh, the, the, the pitch by, by, by adjusting it by hand. And uh, I set it to 440 samples and this is the exact uh, period of this sound. So now this works very nice. Here you see um, that the analyzer has put in the sound and this plus sign means that the sound is not saved until now. If you want to, if you want to save it you have to do this in the analyzer. You uh, say push uh, save TCS and now the plus sign is gone and the, um, yeah, you find the sample in your directory here analyzes and here you see the sample. Okay now I switch to the next uh, to the third oscillator which has now one of the factory wavetables and I want to 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 try how how the how it sounds if I transform this uh, um, bold base uh, into a wavetable. I do split wave uh, sorry uh, make wavetable. It takes a while because this is a quite complex calculation. And here in the size you you uh, can you define how many. Uh, wave periods you want to have in this wave table. Now it has done 128 periods. I go back to the oscillator and you see here the wave table with 128 periods of sound. And it sounds like this. So you see the the color of the sound is, is still there but, but not the, the roughness of the the bold bass. I can compare it with the TCS. Okay. Now um, I do want to try another sound.
sound. Um, this time I take a guitar. Again you see it here. And again you can do all the manipulations. And here for the guitar I don't need the long loop, I can just uh, switch off the loop. So the, the sound stays somewhere on a sustain level. Okay. And again I want to compare this sound uh, with a wavetable when I transform it. Okay, I do make wavetable. Again, 128 periods of sound. And I can listen to the result. And in this case, it sounds quite similar to the original sample. Pitch is a bit different, maybe I had to tune this first. Anyway, you see how, how the quality comes out here. Okay, I have to save this also. Save TCS, okay. Um, okay, I do a third example, which is a drum loop. Okay, you see it's quite a complex sound. Okay, I go back to the oscillator and I tune it a bit lower. Okay. And again I can control the speed or the other way. Could uh, select a part of the sound here or the path. So there's a lot of possibilities for experimenting. Okay, I save this also. So now you see we have uh, the three sounds here in the in this directory. Okay, now I want to uh, show you how you can work with multi-tabling, which is uh, in this case I have set up four zones. So I have uh, four sounds here, um, which are played, uh, which are, uh, I don't know, is set up for different keys on the keyboard. Select this zone, and again I want to try to um, analyze the bolt base to put it in this zone of the multi table. Okay. So you see now here we have the bolt base, and here we have the other zones. So in uh, like this you can set up your own uh, multi-tables which corresponds of course to multi-samplings and assembler. Yes, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.